Hey y'all, today I just want to share with you what I'm going to be wearing on my birthday. I'm super excited about this look. It's really just a reverse smoky eye, which means the smokiness is at the lower lash line as opposed to the top with a fun lip color. So I've already done my foundation. I'm going to do a tried and true review on it. Uh, if you want to see what it is, stay tuned for that. But I'm going to move on to my eyes and the first thing I'm going to do is put on an eye primer. This is from Too Faced. It's by far my favorite. It's the uh, Shadow Insurance. Just placing that all over my lids. And don't forget to place that on the lower lash line as well. Because that's where the majority of the color will be. Alright, so I'm using my Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. But the shades that I'm going to use are pretty neutral. So if you have these in your collection, go ahead and pull them out now. Other than this, um, like, peanut E color. Alright. So the first color I'm going to take is this beige color. This is going to go all over my lid just to kind of set that primer and also just make everything go on smoothly. And this is also going to be my brow highlight. So just placing that all over my lid, just kind of in your wear. All right, now I'm going to take, I'm going to go ahead and do my brow. So I'm taking this angled brush and in the color mousse, and I'm just going to fill in my brows and I'm going to, Go through this pretty quickly because it's just regular old filling in the old brows all right the next color i'm going to take is a chocolate brown color and i'm going to use a small tapered brush and i'm going to place this in the lower lash line this doesn't have to be neat at all as with all smoky eye looks they don't have to be neat at all <laughs> so i'm just going to leave myself a little bit of space in the inner portion but everywhere else i am going to take this pretty low if you have smaller eyes, don't take it as low as I do. And I am also going to create a wing, again, because this suits my eye shape, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Next, I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to blend that out and just kind of make it look very um, soft. Once it's diffused, go ahead and take a dome-shaped brush or a fluffier pencil brush, and I'm going to take it into this peanut butter color. This is just a very warm brown color with a little bit like of an orange hint. And I'm just gonna smoke out that lower lash line. This is really what's gonna make it smoky. So I'm gonna take this, as I said, pretty low on the lash line, but you don't have to if you don't have uh, big eyes as I do. Taking an angled brush, I'm gonna dip it into licorice. And this is just a matte black color. And I'm gonna put this close to my lash line and also um, define my wing with it. I'm not gonna take it in the inner portion, I'm just gonna place it on that outer portion. This is seriously the easiest smoky eye ever. You don't have to put like too much thought or too much care to it, but um, because the point is just to be pretty smoky on that lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna go into a mixture of truffle and peanut butter, and I'm gonna place that in my upper crease just to kind of add some balance. Now I'm gonna use a peach color from my On The Dot palette from Marc. If you don't have this palette, um, you can use the um, Bon Bon, I think, from the Chocolate Bar palette. They're very similar, but I'm gonna take the peach color from the Marc palette and place that on my lid, just with my finger because it works best that way. But if you want to be more precise, go ahead and take an eyeshadow brush. But I can just be pretty precise precise with my finger using this. Now I'm going to take this yellow color. Again, you can use the chocolate bar palette instead. But I'm going to take my pinky and take that color and place it in the inner eye portion. This is just going to add the light and just make it look softer. And I just really like adding like a lighter color in my inner portion. So that's pretty much it. Super easy, right? Now I'm gonna add some warmth to my face. I'm using this uh, bronzer. This is just not a contour bronzer, but like a shimmering one, just cause I'm gonna add some warmness, warmth to my face. And I'm just kind of placing this everywhere the sun would naturally hit my face. The blush I'm gonna use is from ColourPop. It's in the color, I wanna say Frenemy? Yes, but I'll have a length of or no, no, it's called tongue-tied. <laughs> I'll have a, a, a list 
with links down below on my website and the link of my website will be listed down below but anyway I'm just placing that on the outside of my cheek as usual this is where I find what's most flattering for me but you can do what's most flattering for you if you don't have that ColourPop palette this one the Coralina from Milani works just as well all right for highlighter I'm gonna place this apricotty highlighter to my the top of my cheeks this is in double dip and I'm using my finger to apply that it's so cushiony I swear I love this but I'm just gonna place this on the tops of my cheeks just in that highlighter area this is not a super dramatic highlighter which I like it's very much like looks like your skin is just that glowing from within type of thing all right so I'm gonna place that on all the areas where I like to highlight Whenever you highlight, you must contour, so I'm using my Chocolate Soleil Contour by Too Faced and a dome brush, and I'm just going to place that in my the contours on my face. I like to do a lot of contour, and it suits my face shape better, but go with your face shape. <laughs> I'm going to take a Kabuki brush and blend that very harsh line out so that it can be very diffused and soft and just look like a shadow, which is what you want to achieve when uh, doing contours. Now I'm going to take a black eyeliner. This one is from Too Faced and it works really well. It stays on that waterline forever and I really like that. And I am going to put this on the lash line. That part is purely optional, but I really think that it dra adds drama to the eyes. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using a Tarte Eyelash Curler. And I'm going to place a lash primer. This is purely optional. And then the mascara I'm going to use is the Roller Lash from Benefit, but I'll link it down below because I've already talked about that. All right, so this is the finished eye look. Now I'm going to put on my lipstick. And the one that I'm loving is from Milani. It's called Flamingo Pose. These lipsticks from Milani smell so good. And it's just such a pretty pinky, corally color. So I'm going to place that all over my lips. The formula on this lipstick is really nice as well. It's thick, but it doesn't feel like anything on your lips, and it stays on a very long time. Over that, I'm going to apply a little bit of a gloss. I'm using the orange one from L'Oreal for uh, Lily Pulitzer. It's just going to add a little bit more coral that I really like, and it's going to bring out that orangey eyeshadow that I put on earlier. So that's it for the whole look. I hope that you really like it. I intend on wearing this on my birthday for the party that my husband threw me, so I'm pretty excited about it. I am going to vlog it, so stay tuned this weekend or next probably for it. <laughs> Till then, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!